we don't think that we can continue to even exist the same way that we have on YouTube. Hello. I want to uh, donate to my Patreon. As you can see, we can barely even uh, afford a house. We've pretty much got to move out already. I found something talking about the future of YouTube and it is nothing short of terrifying. YouTube was once a wonderful place where content creators could express themselves and broadcast their life, hobbies, or opinions. Not only that, but content creators also had the option to gain ad revenue from the videos they created, thus supporting the creation of even more videos in the future. That has all changed, however, due to one small newspaper outlet accusing the largest YouTuber on earth of being an anti-Semite. All for a quick buck. Since then, dozens of big brands who want to keep a good reputation have completely jumped ship. This means there are far less ads to go around, which is completely crippled the income of every single YouTuber on the platform. If we go into the kitchen, uh, you may see that uh, we're lacking certain types of food. To make things worse, YouTube has now gone around mass flagging and demonetizing videos entirely to ensure ads don't appear on potentially controversial content. They've even hired a group of people to do the job for them, but they're only allowed to spend so much time checking each video before moving on to keep their job. For example, one guy must spend two minutes or less scanning a 10 minute video. Raiders say their workload suggests that volume and speed are more of a priority than accuracy. So trying to give detailed context to protect yourself won't really help you in this case. You just have to keep your mouth shut. We briefly mention a Facebook group called Christian Moms Against Dabbing, but it's not about religion. It's nothing to do with it. YouTube have deployed a list of guidelines for YouTubers to follow to stay advertiser friendly. However, these guidelines are extremely vague, thus making it extremely difficult for YouTubers to follow. In fact, YouTube has a very long history of failed communication with everyone on their platform, so it's not hard to see that YouTubers are caught between a rock and a hard place when trying to decipher their cryptic messages. This, among every other bit of drama circulating YouTube at this point, has forced many YouTubers to stop doing YouTube full time or even stop altogether so they could search for a viable income so they can survive. There may be a light at the end of the tunnel, however. Some YouTubers have banded together to try and combat this change, be it refusing to change their content or rallying up their fans to spread the word. While I'm not personally affected by this change, I do feel sorry for all the YouTubers who depend on this website for income. I can only imagine the financial struggle they must be going through right now, and I hope things change for the better soon. And who knows, with enough help, we might even be able to fix YouTube. Nah, probably not. I'm gonna have to beg on the streets. I'm homeless.